Hi guys, Michel Mastervold here, looking around on the dock just before the race start. Tomorrow race will start and we'll see everybody, you see some sailors walking around <laughs> and uh, we're going to show you a few things from the boats and from the people here. Alright, see you later. Hi there, Michel is about to show you the Mastervold system on one of the boats. Mastervold is now for the second time in a row supplier of the Volvo Ocean Race boats and for a good reason, sailors love it. The system is built with off-the-shelf products and is now being used in one of the most toughest environments. I will show you the system which we have designed which is of course very robust and built for a long-lasting race like the Volvo Ocean Race. I'll take you to the engine compartment right now. In the engine compartment you will see that we have two alternators each 150 amps to charge our lithium-ion batteries. We have a master shunt as a systems VNA, so that's the current and voltage measurement. And of course our master bus DC distribution to show the sailors, should there be any problem with the fuses, they will get alarms on their displays. You will see one yellow switch here and one yellow switch on this side. That's our Blue Sea Systems latching relay connected to our lithium-ion battery. And on the port side here, you will see our beautiful lithium ion 24 5000 batteries. I'm just going to show you through some of the bits and pieces. This is our COI, it's our combined output input um, module. One of our little touch five screens over here, so the crew, um, the crew can control circuits, turn them on and off. We've got a low energy mode, we've got a night sailing mode, so that will turn all of the, the lights um, from white to red. It's a lot of information on the boat. What we've tried to do is try to make it easy for the sailors to put information in different places. All of this data is also available up there on top of the tunnel. We've got another B&G monitor um, and you can do the same thing, control and monitor from different locations. Nick had a very interesting interview with Neil Cox from the boatyard. Let's see what he had to say. Coxie, this is Master Bolt's second edition. Uh, this race is an official race supplier. Um, what are the main reasons for our involvement from a Volvo Ocean Race perspective? Foremost, our relationship with MasterVault is purely based off reliability. We've had an enormous amount of success with all the MasterVault machinery and, and equipment in our boat that you see just here behind us. And to be quite honest, there's absolutely no reason not to run it in the current fleet we have today. So, look, Coxie, these boats, they've already completed a, a, lap, of the, a lap of the planet um, in the last edition of the race. Can you tell us what, sort of what's happened during the refit period to get these boats ready um, for this edition of uh, the race. Yeah, we've been pretty fortunate over the last year to be able to put all the boats through a, a pretty busy 15 week, six and a half thousand man hour refit schedule. In saying that, the boats were pretty much stripped back to a carbon box. So everything that was part of the, part of the primary systems last race from electronic, navigation, hydraulic, everything was stripped from the boats. The refit was an incredibly compressed schedule to be able to get the amount of work done in the time frame that we had. It, in reality, it couldn't have been done without the fantastic support we've had from all our suppliers, obviously, Foremost, Master Vault for us played a huge role in that to be able to give us that support in the development leading up to the start of the refit, the support of personnel and people on site during the refit, and then obviously here we are now, we've just gone through the pre-assembly period, we're now in the ready to start, boats have started doing the import races, I think everything's in very good shape and very happy to see probably the, the best maintained fleet to leave here in the, yeah, in the last you know, three or four editions of the race. Uh, best of luck. Pleasure as always, Nick. Yeah. Pleasure as always. Pleasure as Thank you for watching and see you next time in Cape Town. <laughs>